Hey, 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 what's up with my people? About to get on this flight to American Fit Expo. And before I do, I just want to do this little video so all my fans support those what's going on uh, with this Jason Genova Order 66 shit. Uh, this is the third time homeboy did it. He's a bitch and he retarded, like I said. Anybody promoting hate, racism is a bitch and retarded. And you know, and this is the third time, dude. He did it because he got on another bitch uh, YouTube named Johnny Bravo that was made up of fictitious uh, fucking paperwork with no signature on it lying. So here it is, uh, the retard, uh, Jason Genova, go over there and do an Order 66 because he was lying in his video talk about I called him a retard before. No, I called you the retard for the third motherfucking time. you doing the Order 66 with that bitch shit. And you go get somebody hurt. Cause you better check my resume, homie. So there's a few things that I want to address with you guys today. But the first thing that I want to say is I don't know if you guys had a chance to see it. Because the video was pulled down shortly after it was released. Kali Muscle was on a live show for an hour long. The entire hour long, he was mocking Jason Genova, but not just calling him a retard. He was making faces to try to imitate Jason and autistic people. And it wasn't just one time. It was over and over and over again. He later pulled down the video. Now let me explain something to you guys. In life, you can make jokes, you can make fun of people as a joke, right? But you don't make fun of people who have disabilities. It's not their fault that they were born that way. And it shows the type of person that you are if you're willing to make fun of a person who has a disability. Everybody knows Jason's issues. Everyone does. So by you going on YouTube Live, mocking him for an hour, how do you think that makes you look to everyone? You have over a million subscribers. How many people watched what you did? Do you think anyone's going to like what you did? Nobody who's a normal human being would like what they saw for that hour. Now I'm going to play a little clip of the video from yesterday. Oh, you got some Jason Genova followers, you retard followers. <laughs> Everybody, go! I order sixty-six K muscle. <laughs> Fuck boys, following the retard, nigga. Hey, everybody! I order sixty-six K muscle. Go to his Instagram and YouTube. I order 66 Kai Muscle. Bye bye. <laughs> and these idiots, they do what he say. <laughs> I want to give you a message. You understand, and I know you do, because the video you just put up on Facebook, that the reason why Jason Order 66 you was because he was going and having my back on you threatening me. You got to understand, me and Jason are friends. I went down to Florida. I shot a film with him. Me and him are friends. So instead of going and picking on a mentally handicapped person for Order 66 in you because of me, you went and attacked him instead of attacking somebody who's not handicapped. So what does that tell you about yourself? You go online, you tell everybody you're all about positivity, no racism, inspiring to people. To me, that doesn't look inspiring. And all for nothing. If I really want to look at what it is you do in life, 
everything that you do, every single thing that you do on a daily basis is to make money. The reason why you play video games on YouTube is because you know how many views and subscribers you can get from playing video games. In your chat, you have a donation button and you're happy to get them. Aren't you embarrassed by asking little kids for money and donations? You're going in front of millions of people embarrassing yourself. You embarrassed yourself by going on YouTube Live and mocking Jason Genova for an hour straight. So I want to offer you something. You could come on here live in front of everybody and we can have a conversation where everyone can see it. I could connect you and everyone else to my computer. We can go over the contracts, the orders, and where they came from. However, I know you're not going to do it because you know that I'm not lying and you know they're not fake. Because if you did, you would have sued me. Because legally, I cannot talk or slander somebody on something that I believe is fake. What you got to understand is you're a public figure. Private information or non-private information, if it's considered newsworthy, is not against the law to release. That doesn't prevent you from suing me. But if you sue me, and the documents I have are real, which you know they are, you end up losing all the money on the lawyer fees. Now me, personally, I have an insurance plan that protects me against being falsely sued. So in the end, what's going to happen is you're going to sue me, you're going to lose in court because what I have is real, and you're going to lose your money on your court fees and your lawyer fees, and I'm not going to lose anything because I have an insurance policy protecting me from it. So there's one more thing I want to discuss, and that is the contracts and the orders. I've been hearing so much shit on how they're fake, how they're not real. You guys understand something. I got the orders and I got the documents and the contracts all from Richard Rodriguez himself, owner of WFN. I talked to him daily discussing the film we were making. So anyone who claims that what I have is not real, I made it. I don't want to hear it anymore. They came from Richard, and Richard publicly announced that he was working with me. So I want to leave off by telling you guys, guys, I appreciate all the support. And the last thing I'm going to say, and I've said this before, is that the lie and telling a lie is always worse than telling the truth, no matter how bad the truth is. People need to understand that. In my life, with my relationships with girls, with my parents, with my friends, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I do things to piss people off. But I learned from a small child that by lying... And getting caught in that lie is 10 times worse than telling the truth no matter how bad it is. So that's something to think about. And for the people who are telling you these lies, you guys need to think about that deeply.